Alright, <clears throat> so um, it is April 27th and the end of week one. Uh, so I suppose now I should probably figure out what have I learned from this week and what do I need to do uh, to make next week as successful. Uh, first thing I learned is that my muscle strength is not nearly as much as my cardio strength. Uh, so I'm going to need to work more on muscle building. Um, thankfully the workout routine has a lot of weights involved with it and I've been using the weights even though it says not to use the weights, but, you know, whatever. Um, I've been stretching a lot more, so that's pretty good. Um, especially when doing these videos, it's been really, really helpful. Um, I got co uh, have coworkers and friends who have tons of stretching tips, and uh, especially for the hip muscle, which has only really started bothering me now because I've been sitting on the floor. <clears throat> um... I'm going to run out of mo road here pretty quickly. I already run like two and a half miles every time I go out on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But uh, next Saturday there's three miles, uh, which is not you know, a big deal, but I can probably do it on my stretch of road here. But week after that I think it's five, and I'm not running five miles on pavement. That's just can't possibly be fun. <laughs> Plus it's, it's an old kind of getting boring place to run anyway, although people's yards are changing from being drab, covered in snow and, and mud to actually having plants and whatnot on them. Um, yeah, I, I, more stretching after, after running. Uh, Mornings suck. That's something I learned. Morning workout routines suck. Uh, I didn't think running in the morning sucked so much until I ran today in the afternoon and found out that my time and my breathing and my warm-up time and everything, despite being sore from doing a, a weight routine yesterday, no problem. It took me a quarter of the distance <laughs> to warm up and I took on that hill like it was nothing. Uh, it was great. It was an awesome run. I, I did so much better on it than I ever have in the morning. Um, on the other hand, if I keep doing it in the morning and I can do as well in the morning as I just did this afternoon, then clearly it's going to be awesome when I can do it in the afternoon. Um, by the time May, the end of May, I'm doing the Color Vibe run. By the time that comes around, um, that's going to be amazingly easy. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be awesome. Gonna kick ass at it. <laughs> um, in the meantime, I guess next next week, uh, actually I have a routine, so next week I know it's going to be Monday's a 30 minute muscle routine. Uh, heavy muscle adrenaline, like muscle cardio kind of thing. Um, Tuesday's a run. Uh, it's two miles, so it'll be closer to what I normally do. Uh, then Wednesday, uh, it has another two miles on Wednesday, but I'm going to end up sw swapping that to do um, a cardio workout to try and break things up a little bit because just running day in. And I can run again on Thursday, so swapping everything. So running again on Thursday, uh, another two miles. So again, I'm going to feel like I'm doing my normal routine, just adding weights and cardio and, and all that in between the off days. Um, and then another 30 minute on Friday. So, and on the next Saturday, sorry, it's only three miles next Saturday. Today was only two miles, even though I did 2.4 2 something, 2.45, 4, 4, something like that. Um, tomorrow is a break, so tomorrow is Sunday, and it's my day off. Uh, I got homework to do, <laughs> so that's that's what I get to do there. Day off from, from exercise, and it's never a day off from classwork, so. Um, going out tonight with friends to go to dinner, um, and then come back and do homework more. So it, it's homework, 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 and, and work, and working out.
Personal goals. Always good. <laughs> All right, well, so far going really, really well. And um, I'll see you next week. <laughs>